man who ended Brocktober early when he took down his opponent in one round. Check this out. Please welcome the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Cain Velasco. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let me tell you something, brother. You were unbelievable this weekend. Congratulations on your championship. Thank you. Unbelievable. Thank you. How does that feel, man, to be champ? It feels great, man. You know, all the hard work that I put in just comes down to one night. You know, I, I gotta go out there and perform. Yeah, so yeah. It, it, it was an amazing feeling. The the uh, I, I always thought UFC was more of a Latino sport because think about it. <laughs> you don't have gloves, you're fighting with just a little bit of tape. In underwear, <laughs> surrounded by chain link fence. To me, that's Latino. <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I, I guess you can say that. Yeah, that, that's why I, you know, I picked the sport, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> With everybody yelling, get him! You know, there's no strategy. They don't yell, move no, to your no, left. Yeah, yeah. It's hit him, hit him, hit him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so Brock Lesnar was bigger than you. What, what, how much, like two inches taller? He's two inches taller. Um, he weighed. Well, you have to weigh in at 265, but I think he walks around maybe 270, 275, maybe. I'm not really sure. I mean, how that. do you train for somebody like that, that that's obviously bigger than you? Because Latinos don't just hit him when he's taking his jacket off. Yeah. But <laughs> how, how do you train for somebody? <laughs> um, you know, with, uh, it's hard to mimic his size and his strength. I mean, but we had guys that were his caliber of, of wrestling. Yeah. Guys that were uh, 250, you know. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, we... I practice with those type of guys so who has his, his, his wrestling uh, credentials. Yeah. Also has uh, his style of fighting, too. At what point do you know, because you're throwing punches, do you, do you like all other, all the fights I've been, I always black out. Did you black <laughs> out? No, I didn't. You, so you were aware that you were throwing punches. Sometimes yeah. I, I don't yeah. even know. Yeah. One yeah, time yeah. I got in a fight in Best Buy, I thought I was blacked out. <laughs> so, but, but. So you're aware that you're throwing blows. You know what punches you're throwing. You see them in front of you. At what point did you say to yourself, I got, I got him? Um, it had to be in the middle of the fight when I grabbed his leg and I took him down. That's when I knew. And I, I was on top of him throwing punches. He didn't get up right away. Uh, I, that, that felt like the, the, the turning point right. at that moment in that fight. And before the fight, uh, you're, 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 I, I love it because you're, you're like a... Um, you're respectful of the sport. You're not a, a trash talker. But Brock, uh, he, he was taught, what did he say he was going to do? He said it, when he beat you, he was going to have a burrito and a Corona to celebrate his victory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if he ate it. I mean, I think it would be better for it. <laughs> well, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure if he ate it. I think, I think it would be better for him to, to get a bowl of manula para que se quite la. <laughs> Here's what I think is, is great, and um, you are the first Mexican-American heavyweight champion in any contact sport, so congratulations. That's, that's big, bro. Uh, that's... I mean, what, 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 does that, what does that mean to you? I mean, for me, it's just, I mean... I'm proud to represent. I mean, you know, I was born here in the U.S. I'm American, but I have my parents from Mexico. Um, I, I grew up in Yuma, Arizona, close to the border, so we have ties there. We would always go there on the weekends. I'm just, I'm just happy that you know people can look up to me in that way. You know, if I can be Absolutely. a role model for, for somebody, for kids, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm happy to be that person. Absolutely. I, I could not, I could not be prouder of you. I love your brown pride tattoo that you have. You're gonna make a great chap. Hey, so when you fight next time, I'm going to go to your fights, man. Okay. All right? And yeah, you I'll come to mine, I'm going to Best Buy Saturday. <laughs> so 
Brock, Brock said that that if he if he won, he was gonna have a, a traditional burrito and a Corona. But since you beat Brock Lesnar, I think we should have a traditional American meal. Come on. <laughs> to celebrate, to celebrate the victory, Kane and I are gonna have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And some milk with no crux. Champ, here's to you, man. Thank here's you. to a great fight. Kane Velasquez, the champ! We'll be right back.